Alright guys, listen, 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 listen. I have a massive thing to talk about today, okay? Like an actual huge thing to talk about. Recently on Twitter, I saw a bunch of people talking about this thing called mouse acceleration, right? So then I was thinking to myself, I was like, there's no way I have mouse acceleration turned on, right? I checked this morning and the fucking enhanced pointer precision was actually on. Guys, just so you can understand the difference, okay? I want you to realize that this is the same sensitivity. Okay, wait, hold on, let me show you something. Look, with with mouse acceleration called in, uh, uh, pointer precision, look. Look, look, look at how big my like strokes are. And now look. You guys see it's literally like a 1.5x, right? It's like literally 50 to 60% in speed. We're gonna log in and we're gonna see how crazy it feels. Let's see. Guys, what if I told you that even disabling hardware acceleration or uh, the mouse acceleration, whatever it is, it doesn't change the fundamental problem with League, which is this. You know what I mean? It's like even turning off mouse acceleration doesn't change the fundamental issue that this game has. Which is literally just this. Oh no, I think one day Riot is just gonna wake up and realize that no one actually likes playing against tanks. And then when they do, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, maybe we shouldn't constantly make tank metas a thing. Right now the overall meta just feels like shit, and that's the reason why assassins right now aren't that good. Because the truth is, and this is the thing that not a lot of people are willing to talk about, because not a lot of people actually know about this, okay? But the truth of the matter is Twitch chat, and I'll tell you guys something crazy. Oh no. Yeah, I like this. So, the truth of the matter is that when you're sitting there, and when you're playing uh, League of Legends, every single meta is almost always dictated by mid or bot laners. So what I mean by that is if engaged supports are meta, then obviously assassins aren't going to be meta. If enchanters are meta, then assassins will be meta. On the flip side, if mid lane assassins are meta, then almost anything is actually viable to be locked in, right? But if mid lane control lockdown mages are meta, like bullshit like Ari Lissandra, then it kind of changes a lot. But the truth is that bot lane legitimately, legitimately influences every single role in the game. Every single one. Bot lane meta will influence every single role and what is viable. Apart from maybe like what, top lane? I guess like top lane it doesn't really influence that much. That's the only correct thing you said since the start of stream. Then you're just not smart enough to understand the other stuff. They need to allow building both Shrildos and Cleaver again? Yeah. I mean I'm telling you I think that's legitimately the only way as well. Legitimately, the only way for metas to become someone more consistent and viable is for assassins to be meta, regardless of if it's tank supports or engage supports that are like locked in. And the only way for you to do that is to make it so that Sorelda and Cleavers are uh, itemizable again. Like, do you guys want to see the most disgusting shit ever? Let me show you. Is it normal to you, Twitch chat, that the top three supports in Korea? who are all engaged CC tanks, all have, in total, a 66.6% .6 pick rate. Are you fucking kidding me? The support class has 40 potential champions, and 66% of games are the same three. It's ridiculous. And the worst part, too, is when you're gonna have someone that locks in a non-engaged support and then the enemy team will. It makes the game legitimately just feel so unplayable. I'm telling you guys, it's legitimately just bot lane meta a lot of the time that literally ruins people's like fun for the game. Okay, you guys ready to see something? Oh my god, I didn't actually go in the bush. I have cancer. <laughs> yeah, cancer. Dude, that's the only problem with my Rengar is that sometimes I just don't go in the bush. But, like, people that play the champ know what I'm talking about. 
Like, sometimes you actually just, like, don't go in the bush, and then because of that, you get, like, nothing. Nice. I mean, honestly, if Silver tries doing anything to me here, I could probably just kill her. Do you think Loser's Q is real? I mean, of course. Anybody that's played at any kind of, like, high level for League will tell you it's 100% real. Loser's Q is legitimately a thing in League that has to be in the game. And when you understand the reasoning behind it, you start to understand why it's actually in the game. So, imagine you're sitting there and you have to make a fair and balanced matchmaking for every single player on the planet, right? Then, obviously, you can't just sit there and match people that are similar rank with one another. Because if you do that, it can lead to cases where some people get the worst teams ever. And because of this, they have a 0% win rate. And then others get the best teams ever and then they just skyrocket past the rank because they don't deserve it, right? So the only actual way that you can make a fair and balanced matchmaking, right, in an online game like League, is for you to sit there and say, okay, what we're actually going to do is we're going to make it so that everybody is going to follow a code that brings them to around a 50% win rate. And that's literally the only way that you can make a fair and balanced matchmaking. And I don't know why Riot sits there and denies it when writers in the past have literally come out and said it exists. And I don't know why the community sits there and they pretend like it's not a thing. Because it 100% is. Nice. Got it with the fucking bullshit. The empowered E. I'm gonna like walk at him and try to bait out a flash or something. Unless he doesn't. Good! I mean, what I do now is I just like drop forward here and then we're chilling. Perfect. Nice. I was holding on to my empowered uh, W there because I wasn't sure if I would actually need to use it or not. Nice. Perfect. Let's see? You guys want the actual check is here? Look. Perfect. <laughs> and I know what I can actually do here. Hold on, hold on. I want to say, I want to say. Dude, I want to just, I, I want to just play like maximum tempo. But I guess what I could do here is just like recall and then we just play for some bot. Okay, you guys are to see something crazy. Ah, oh, nice. I pressed R and I thought I pressed R after I actually did my thing, but I pressed it before. Um, I was actually the first death of the game, that's crazy. Isn't that champion fucking crazy, by the way? Guys, that's an Urgot with a Phage, by the way. Yeah, I'm just so fucking tilted. Like, when you run at an Urgot with a Phage, and then he does that to you, and you have, like, 3,000 gold on him, like, I don't know. It's like, you, ju you just have to die, like, after just saying that fucking bullshit. The truth of the reality is that top laners are legitimately the most broken champions in the game by far, and the only reason why they're even considered somewhat balanced is because of how un unimpactful their role is. But that's sort of the reason why whenever a top laner becomes good as a jungler, un unless it's, like, a weak jungler... It, it's always like the most broken bullshit ever. Wait, you know I could actually outplay this. I saw that. I should have, like, flash into the bush and then, like, killed them by flashing into the bush there. 
What are your thoughts on Gwen Jungle? I mean, Gwen Jungle is like another atrocity. Because the problem is that Gwen can actually deal with tanks. That's what you have to understand. You have to understand that any jungler that can deal with tanks is by default broken because we're in a tank meta. There's a reason why Lilia is like considered OP as fuck right now. But Lilia is one of those weird champs where it's like she can deal with tanks, but she also doesn't do good into hard lockdown. She's like super strange in that sense. Nice. Watching good Rengar gameplay satisfy something in me? I mean, like, I, I would honestly say that if you were to show my gameplay to, like, any actual Rengar one trick, they would say that my mechanics would probably be at, like, a diamond Rengar level, honestly. Bro is not diamond Rengar. No, I'm telling you, if you were to show it to anyone, they would say. The haters would say this is not diamond level Rengar. Yeah, I don't know if people are just like overestimating how good they think diamond players are. It's like, the problem with you guys is you're going to watch like Scrub Noob play the game. And you're going to see how well he can play it. And then you'll look at my gameplay and you'll be like, yeah, yours isn't Scrub Noob level, obviously. But then it's like, you'll think that for some reason like a diamond Rengar could like play better than the way I can. I mean, I could have flashed there. Fuck me. I feel like I got the one shot. I should have just like flashed on the cigs, but yeah. Why didn't you flash? <laughs> it's because Zora opened the door, and I was like, I was like fucking overwhelmed for a second. I was like, wait, what do I want to do again? Also, why is my team randomly throwing out a surrender vote? Now oh, someone's gonna be around here. I'm feeling it. Good, no, just like this. I mean, can we not just, like, take this here? I literally just killed their fucking jungler, bro. Okay, can my, can my Mordekaiser walk up a little bit so that he's the one tanking? I mean, the problem is I'm playing in Emerald, so these people don't understand that the person that's tanking actually has, like, a 40% damage reduced against the, uh, against the fucking objective. I mean, listen, if I literally just, like, split right now, it's the best thing I could do. The only one that could try matching me is, like, Urgot, right? Yeah. Look at this shit. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I think me dying there is, like, fine for it, though. Like, I'm gonna be real with you, I think that's actually like, completely fine. Like, on some no cancer shit. Maybe go to the Middle East for the MENA server? Yeah, I think I'll hard pass on that, dude. If literal mid Middle Easterns are going to the Middle East server and they're not even, like, enjoying their time there? Uh, I think I'm done on the server. Like, genuinely. Uh, this server is, uh, unbearable. And... Even though they have Middle Eastern communities, people aren't enjoying them, like, watching them play on those regions, and I don't think I will, bro. Alright, guys, I point for you want to see a potential insane fucking Rengar combo. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I mean, honestly, just to kill him to kill him, it's worth. Oh, fuck me. I mean, 
No, I knew Six was waiting over the wall. I should have just like played way more safer. Would have been actually way better. When I'm to your high viewer count, no flame, no toxic, just curious. Um, I mean, it's just a thing right now where it's like my stream's always been kind of like an ebb and flow where viewer count a lot of time is determined by like hype and what's going on that's like hype. And right now, if there's just like nothing going on that's really hype and I'm not really enjoying League, and when I play it, I kind of have like kind of a bad attitude, I guess. And you know, it's just a new match on like a penis, you know what I mean? Like, you're not always gonna have like a fucking uh, seven incher, you know what I mean? But it's like, even when it's one inch, it still has the capacity for seven inches. Does that make sense? Oh no. <gasps> okay, it was almost not worth it. See, the only thing I'm wondering is like, how do I re enter the fight now even? No, I should've just like sat mid. Honestly, just sitting mid that would've been way better. Is there a reason why you're smurfing instead of just main account grinding? Yeah, because I'm not enjoying playing on my main, that's why. It's just not fun for me at all, honestly. It's legitimately just like not fun at all for me. It, it cause in the past, it's been a thing where like, I can play the game even if I'm not really enjoying it, but now it's getting to a point where I literally just don't even wanna play anymore. Like, I've never felt this way in my entire life, where it's just I literally don't even want to play the game anymore. Couldn't find multiple killer kills here. <laughs> see, like, that's what I want to see more of. Oh, if I would have used Empower W. I don't think Empower W would have actually killed them there, though. They would have maybe like made it so I would have had another like second. But like, see, like that's the kind of shit that just makes me not enjoy playing this game. Urgot's a perfect example. The guy walks up to me, does my entire health bar while being a full tank and being unkillable. You know what I mean? It's just really like it's just not enjoyable. You walked in, one shotted two enemies, and still say the game isn't enjoyable. Yeah, because I one shotted two enemies, and then the one that actually matters, I can't do anything to. Isn't that just because assassins aren't good versus bruisers though? Yeah, exactly, but it's like assassins aren't good versus bruisers or tanks. Both of which are like the main champions that are like in the meta right now. So it's like the build that I always played for Hecarim that I always enjoy doing the most isn't even like that viable anymore. And the problem too is that all it takes is like one champion on the enemy team for an entire like playstyle to be nullified. Nice. Alright, good. We, we end before I die, too.